Hello everybody, my name is Anthem. Welcome to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Rome, or Byzantium I guess. You might be wondering, where is the Czechoslovakia campaign? Well, I spent about an hour trying to get the game to work. Somehow, between recording sessions, changing no settings whatsoever, installing no new mods, or you know, enabling any new mods, the game just decided to crash. And I spent 45 minutes turning on mods, turning off mods, but I, I, I couldn't get it to work, it just crashed every single time. It would help if I knew what the checksum of the save game was. I don't know if there's a way to actually check what it is though. If you do know how to check the check, how to check the checksum of a saved game, let me know in the comments below. But until then, if that ever happens, we're going to be starting a new campaign as the Byzantine Empire, which is a mod available in the Steam Workshop. And what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be restoring the Roman Republic. Right now, we have a pretty even split between democratic, communist, fascist, I mean, excluding not aligned. Pretty strong uh, guys here. I do have a few more mods installed. You know, we still got the Czechoslovakia. I'm hoping that the AI can actually deal with the mods. Um, we got one for Finland. They have their own idea group. Uh, Turkey has their own idea group, which might, I don't know how, how this will work. They're actually, their idea group might actually be broken. No, in Ankara. Theirs, yeah, theirs might be broken because it might give us factories because we own some of their territory. Um, Iran has their own unique idea group. Iran's idea group is actually looking very, very busy. Uh, Australia has their own idea group. Um, Canada also has their own idea group. And Brazil's supposed to, but I think Brazil's might be broken. And there's also a, another one that just basically boosts the default one. Yeah, but it looks like theirs just did not work. I don't know what's wrong with work Brazil's. I'm going to have to keep enabling it every single time I want to play the game because if I don't, the game will crash. I'm assuming at least. Um, I think there's a few more. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, Austria has their own weird one, but I'm not actually too sure what this will do. Most of it's broken. But I think this just gives them part of their old empire back. So it, it'll be interesting to see how this works out at all. But yeah, we're going to be going and joining the allies. And try to stop, you know, the, the axes over here from expanding. And maybe take over Italy at some point. Because we can't become the Roman Republic if we don't own Rome, obviously. So first things first, we'll get our troops. Put them all into one control stack. And yeah, we'll have this guy in charge. He was also in the Indian campaign, but he'll be in charge here as well. Put our troops on the border wall. We'll with Bulgaria because we go to our national focus ideas one of these yeah we could we can reclaim Thrace or no, it's not Thrace it's Frisia which will give us claims on Bulgaria and then we can just kind of don't know where this province is that might be in I think that's in like what what's it what no okay no this one is where the hell is Mosia? Mosia, it's not Macedonia. I have not a single idea where. Can I just search it? Mo. Mosia? Does it just not. No, that's Mongolia. I, does that place even exist? Does this province exist? Oh no, okay. Dobjuria. No, I th that actually might be in Romania. Uh, diplomacy, factions, no, state. Syria. Is it this one? It was it Dob and I was just... Yeah, okay, no, yeah, part of Romania. Well, that's fine, but yeah, we're going to go, we're going to get the politic, 70 days, 120 points. That should be fine. Hopefully the game won't crash, because then, you know, spending the last five minutes making this intro will be kind of worthless. Uh, research. Well, I don't even know what the hell we start off with, but yeah, once again, you want to start off with these basic techs. are always a good way to start off. Three military factories. We have three to seven, so let's just, you know, throw those all into rifle equipment. I always think that's a good idea. Civilian factories. Uh, let's get some more civilian factories in Greece at the moment, because right now, I don't think we're going to be going to war... With the, at least with any major powers soon. We'll just kind of build ceiling factories everywhere. And the game did not crash. Ooh, wonderful. Okay, and free dockyards. 
destroyers, get rid of destroyers, and let's just make, like, just convoys for now. Not a submarine, just convoys. We have two dockyards. And we have low manpower. We have five, we have 50,000 troops, or 45,000 men, which isn't a lot. Uh, we only, we're on limited construction, 2.5% of the population. Yes, it's not, it's not too much. We have a civilian economy, expert focus, you know, basic things that almost every country starts off with. Surplus of chromium. We really just need oil. We can get that from Romania. The Romania, trade, trade with me, thank you. So let's see, what actually do we have in our territory? We got a lot of steel, a lot of chromium, and that's pretty, pretty good. We got some oil over here, but if we can expand into Turkey, down into Iraq, but the problem with that is that we are wanting to go and join the allies. Yeah, so remain. This one just. No, democratic focus. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah but we'll, we'll restore the Roman Republic. All you guys. Let's go to speed 5. Because speed 5, it just makes most amount of sense, especially for the early game. That one's basically just giving a little bit, bit of a brief rundown of why Byzantium even exists. Basically, World War 1. Greece got some more territory and called themselves Byzantium. I don't know why they did, they just did. I mean, I think that's kind of historical. I think Greece did get this territory in World War I, but they were just kind of trash and just lost it all during the uh, Turkish War of Independence. Anyway, missing production equipment. Um, a lot of rifles. Where did all the right what? what? What are we trying to, what are they trying to make? Light tanks. Why the hell do we need light tanks? I mean, we'll put them in the queue. I mean, okay, so there are just light tank divisions here. So I'm assuming that's why. Low manpower. Yeah, I mean, there, there's not much we can do about that. Sorry. We put all our troops on the border with Bulgaria. So they have uh, 8 to 17. We start off with 23 stacks, so we're stronger than they are. I think we, you know, we're definitely in a better position than just Greece by default. Uh, what the hell are you? Your ships, your uh, an infantry division, you can just kind of hang out there. Well, your battle plan really is just take the cities. Everything else doesn't matter. We can take the cities, annex all the country. Can we just join the allies right away? World tension minus a thousand. I, okay, so we need at least 40% of world tension if you actually want to do anything there. Yeah, they're kind of on the border, but there's there's so many empty spaces in Bulgaria, so it should be like just pretty easy just to take them. And there, there wouldn't even be much of a fight, would there? I d nah, it, 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 that'd be a, that'd be steamroll basically. We're still missing nine thousand rifles. We need fifty six tanks, but I mean, we could just turn them all into infantry, which would actually be kind of bad. Let's see. So we got. Three tanks, three cavalry units in our tank divisions. Cavalry does six cav. You were just probably nine mountaineers, and I'm assuming you're just nine infantry. You are. With some support of artillery and stuff. Yeah, I know we got low manpower. Don't get too worked up about it. You, we are almost done here. We're going to need about 30 days. Actually, about 20 days. And then, yeah, befriend Bulgaria is just kind of boring. Like, what does this do for us? It just makes them like us more, and that, you know what, who, who cares about that? Nobody does. It's, it's, that's dumb. No, nobody wants to do this. Rick came Anatolia. Rick came Rose. Befriend England. So we definitely want to go down here, befriend England. Because, you know, we're friends. I mean, let's, let me just, let's just double check. Make sure that the, uh, the focuses are actually working. Fortify border concepts. You guys are actually, like, doing stuff, and it's, and it's working for you. I, th I think for the most part, it it's working. They are island underscore states underscore resources underscore effort. I mean, that sounds like it's working to me. Yeah, and they're all doing stuff. It's all good. At least, the, at least it's not 100% broken. Because I know there are at least a handful of mods where the unique po uh, policy trees just don't work with the AI. But luckily, this one does. So let's reclaim three, yeah. Actually, they might not they might not like us if we take too much territory. But I think they'll let us just join the allies regardless. Like they don't care too much. Um at political advisors. Monthly opinion plus 15%. Construction speeds are always good. 
Democratic supporter. Does it matter if we do- like, does this guy do anything, really? Like, I don't know if they do anything. So we'll just ignore that for now. Military theorist. I think just an infantry expert. He, he's always good. He's always good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure having the democratic guy, unless you are Italy, you know, Germany, somebody who is not, or someone who's already part of a faction, at that point, I would understand why you'd want to get that guy. If you want to be like a democratic Germany, you would... Oh. Okay, so maybe maybe the mods I have are a little bit broken. Because that, uh... Well, Republican Spain just exists. Good work, Republican Spain. You did us well. Yeah, they're just going to be... They'll just be over there winning civil wars automatically. Italy should fall, or Ethiopia should fall to Italy pretty soon. Yeah, there's absolutely no world tension because world tension is not generated by civil wars. I think they're generated by peace deals sometimes. But I don't, I don't even think all the times. Uh, research time, definitely want that. It's always good to have those techs. Yes, we're getting plus one. And as soon as this is done, we can basically just annex all of Bulgaria because it'll all be cores. And I'm pretty sure having cores um, is decent to have. If they have they if they have cores, it doesn't generate enough world tension, I think. Well, I mean, obviously it doesn't generate as much. I don't know how much it will generate. If they, yeah, they're all core provinces. Like, do we have... We do have claims already on Turkey. Like, we could... No war goal to justify... I mean, we have claims. I thought... I thought that would be enough to... Like, we have claims basically on the entire coastline of Turkey. And then you would think that would be enough to just attack. No, it's just, it's not enough to do anything. Like, who's, who even is this guy? Like, who are you? I'm not, I'm not too sure. But he, uh, he wants to restore Rome. And that's fine by me. So let's see, so we are going to take Bulgaria. I think Macedonia will get a claim on at some point. And this one here, reclaim... Okay, this one gets us Albania. Okay, so actually, that one gets us these three bottom states. Okay. And this, does this start a war? Get to, yeah, get to vent, reclaiming Tricia. So that might just start a war. No, pause the game. Romania belongs to us, or there will be peace, not war. Now, will this attack them outright? And I think we should be fine there. Uh, this is for attacking Romania. I don't think we want to do that quite yet. We also don't want to attack Romania. So, I don't, I don't want to do this one because I don't want to just have more. If I do this one, we might just also just go to war with Turkey. So, let us get the capitalist ethos. Research slot is available. Uh, concentrate or disperse. It's interesting because normally in Europe you want disperse because we might get bombed a lot. But in our position, we might not. But concentrated would probably still be worse. Let's get disperse industry. Okay, so we're at war. Let's go down to speed three. And basically we can just already... Why can't we enter the province? Are we are we not at war? Oh no, we're not. Declare war. Retake core state. Uh, we don't have any allies. So yeah, air wings with no mission. Oh yeah, we do have planes. How are you guys doing? We just go over the Eastern Balkans. Air superiority, close air support, strategic bombing. I don't think we need to do because we're going to be taking the territory for ourselves. And kind of just attack our way into the country here. And yeah, this should be pretty much a cakewalk. Like, I don't imagine the uh, the Bulgarians putting up too much of a resistance. 
just kind of open up another front here. We're only at 61%. The more provinces we have, uh, you actually don't attack. Attack in this direction. You can get another guy fighting here as well. Yeah, so we're already, already basically at the border we want to be at. Yeah, th this, this war is basically already over, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you guys just move up here. You guys really can just march around. Yeah, you guys go up here. This guy should die pretty much immediately. And then we'll just kind of hold. They are reinforcing this army, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We are pushing them back. Yeah, you guys go here. You attack here. We'll send this Panzer Division to go to this province. Yeah, and they're already pulling back. So yeah, we're going to take this city. Uh, I don't imagine, because it's 1% world tension, the allies can't do anything for, to us. And they'll capitulate soon enough. We'll see how much world tension it actually generates. Like, I don't imagine it's going to be a lot. These these borders, or the, these plans are getting stupidly messy. Can you attack here? Well, you can go up and around, so that's what we're going to be doing. You might actually attack this retreating troop, maybe? No, I don't think so. But yeah, we're all, we've already pushed our way in pretty pretty far so how about you just do your plan we'll let the ai kind of figure its own thing out it's production what do you need now planes i'm assuming oh yeah pause the game air wings you guys normal operations don't lose too many planes thank you now nah, you got to push this guy back out he has like no morale and as soon as we take sophia i think that's really just the end of the war and we just kind of annex everything after that. Uh, you guys should at least be at least somewhat spread out on this border. And if we take Sophia, then that... Sh yeah, that should just be the end. And they'll just retreat. Or surrender, I guess. And then our Byzantine borders are going to be a lot better. So let's see. Bulgaria, take all states. Generates only 2.6% world tension. That sounds fine. Yeah. And turn. Done. And fantastic, we got a lot of production. Uh, no division because of training. We do have 109,000 manpower now. So because they're in core states, they are the 2.5%. They're not like the 0.01% that non-core states give. So that's good. Two more factories. Uh, well, we'll start making air. We need a fighter and I think a bomber. That's like a bomber. Yeah, so let's make some of those guys as well. Not a lot of rubber, but we can probably import that somewhere else. Because we're getting capitalist ethos, well, where, where should we reposition our troops? I think they should probably go on the border with Turkey now. We got a lot of a lot of rifles. Yes, this is placeholder text. Wonderful. Okay, so yeah, we only need five thousand rifles now instead of the what was it, ten thousand we needed at the beginning? There's one Turkish troop on the border, and that's really not saying much. So can we take, I mean, it's possible if we go, like, rush all the way down here. Yes, yeah, so maybe, maybe we could just do it and not declare war right away. Reclaim Anatolia. Reclaim Rhodes, which is, Rhodes are, no, Rhodes is this island. I definitely don't want to fight the Italians right now if I don't have to. Okay, so guys. First things first, take the major cities, and then after that, I guess just take these cities. And after that, you guys should basically be done. There won't be much left after that. But if there is, if there is, basically just take that city. Really, you guys don't. It's really not just. Breaking off from here. That seems a little bit weird. But yeah, let's close that then. I don't know why it's not going off of this border. Which I feel like it should be doing. But it's just not. You guys, how many troops do you have? 15 to 37? It's going to be a much harder war than the Bulgarian War. Which was basically just a cakewalk, let's admit it. And right now, so what, what does this give us? This gives us... Trade opinion factor plus 20%, Liberty Ethos. And then after that, we can either go this one. 
Join faction, tension living plus 100%. Can send volunteer forces. Interesting. Volunteer core. Why we fight. Yeah, so sometimes they are just... Why we fight, I think, is a... That's a default one, right? And they've just kind of moved it here. Technology sharing. Yeah, some of these are being reused, which is fine. Um, do, do, do. This stuff's all over here. And it would be great to have. Romani 2. Population 5%. 7.5%? Are these adding on top of each other? Or is it replaced? Okay, no, it's replacing. They, okay, that would have been a little bit crazy if it was 2.5 plus 5 plus 7.5. That would be what, like a 15%? Which would be a, a stupid amount of soldiers. But I do think that this is going to be a good time to end this first episode, so thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Now enjoy, enjoy, thumbs down. Once more, subscribe, and goodbye.